What's going on everybody, Robbie here, and today we're taking a quick look at Transformers Earthrise Voyager Starscream. And of course this is the packaging looking pretty similar to the Siege packaging, just a different color scheme here. We got a nice picture of Starscream on the side looking uh, very much more in his Earth mode. And on the back you can see Starscream again. Robot. Vehicle. 30 steps. Here's a Battlemaster. Want to go and buy a Battlemaster. Then on the other side here, a really cool picture of all of the Autobots and Decepticons uh, hovering over the Earth as the Ark falls to its fate? Question mark. Um, very, very cool uh, imagery. You got Unicron in the background. You've got a little tiny Galvatron floating out in space above. That's pretty neat. Uh, in each package, there is a piece of map that you can. Uh, put together. There's also some secret codes on there that you can decode using this secret decoder that they include in all of these figures. So that's kind of a neat thing. But without further ado, let's take a look at Starscream. All right, so this is Starscream's vehicle mode, and it's very much an Earth mode Starscream jet. It's kind of an F something or other. You know, you got you got that kind of going on. It's close enough but just just different enough you know what i'm saying uh, but it looks really really nice uh they have put a lot of thought into this one obviously i would have liked maybe a blue nose cone i think they could have easily done that it doesn't really affect robot mode in any way shape or form so i would have liked to have seen that but you know i guess it's easier to hold off on the paint apps um and it probably would have cost too much to have it be a separate uh element cast in the same blue plastic so that's kind of a bummer. Actually, it's even more obnoxious seeing that they do in fact use blue paint that I totally forgot about. Just a couple of spots here of blue paint. They could have totally painted this up. Who knows? It might have added too much to the cost. Whatever. It's not worth arguing about. Um, yeah, it's a really nice vehicle mode. You can see some cool, cool stuff going on here. It's decently sized. Uh, just to give you an idea of the size of the vehicle mode. There we go. You can see it with red alert from the siege line here so it is a decent size here and again i'll show you underneath you can see there is a star scream hidden in this uh <laughs> hidden in this jet costume but overall it's not that bad um you got the null rays underneath the wings here some nice tampos on those wings and some cool tampos on the tail fins and stuff like that so Overall, pretty nice. I'm okay with it. I like it a lot. Except for this big weird hollow part here. And then this kind of weird part here that is necessary for transformation. But honestly, the first time I had it transformed, I was like, why can't I pull the landing gear down? That's so weird. Why won't it come down? And then I was like, oh, that's right, because it's attached at two spots. But that's just me being dumb. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out Starscream's robot mode. Alright guys, so Starscream's robot mode is pretty neat. It's very G1-y, as you can see. Um, lots going on here. It's it's uh, not a complicated transformation, but it's it's involved enough that it's like satisfying, if that makes sense. Um, you got some, some cool little tricks going on here. A uh, little weird hollowness under his arms. Um, but it doesn't go like all the way through. You can't see light through it. You can just kind of stick your finger in there. So it is kind of strange that there's just this big like fake front over the whole thing. Um, and that's not really cool. Uh, there is a trick to the transformation that almost forgives the lack of a wrist swivel. Almost forgives. Um, and you can tell there's some things they left out, uh, which I'll show off in a second. But overall, it's not a bad figure. Uh, at all. So let's take a quick look at some size comparisons. First of all, I'll show them off with a standard Siege Deluxe so you guys can get an idea of the size of Starscream. It's decently sized. Um, but most importantly, here he is with his Siege counterpart. And you can see that Siege Starscream is actually a little bigger. A little bigger. Looks just overall 
a bit more imposing. And I think, honestly, I kind of like this, the Siege Starscream a little bit better. I know he's covered in metallic silver paint, uh, which a lot of you guys are not fans of. Um, but I kind of just like this aesthetic a little bit more. He's a little bit more lean, uh, a little bit more, like, fierce looking. Whereas this guy kind of just looks like he's had a little too much pudding. Um, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, they're both cool. I do like them both quite a bit. Um, I think I like Earthrise for vehicle mode more and then uh, Siege for robot mode more. But that is just my personal opinion and you guys can totally have your own and that is okay. Ah, alright. Articulation wise, let me show off his face here. He's got a different head sculpt than the Siege version, but it's similar. Uh, it's more smooth, though. It's much more Earth mode uh, specific. But he doesn't really have much of a smirk. He's just got kind of a, a mush face going on. Not too much going on there. His eyes are red, but it's very hard to pick out under the, the, you know, the heavy brow he's got going on. Arms can go out to the side. Go up go back. They're blocked, of course, by the wings. It's not really that big a deal. He does have a bicep swivel. He does have an elbow joint. It goes a little bit more than 90 degrees. His wrist can go up a little bit, or up a lot if you want, well, that, but it breaks the illusion there. Uh, but his wrist can go up. Um, his hips can go up if you move that weird hip skirt out of the way, um, but only that far. His knees can get a little bit more than 90, and he does have the ankle rocker like that. His toes can go back and forth too just due to that transformation. The wings can in fact swivel back. Um, they are on a hinge. Doesn't look like they are but they are. And you can kind of see back here there's a, a post hole here that looks like it was supposed to like lock in place at one point but they abandoned it some at some point during the uh, process there. You can see there's a little hole in his butt if you want to put him on a flight stance. That's pretty cool. And of course the no rays are removable. So overall, um, I like Starscream. I like him a lot better than Grapple. Uh, <laughs> he's pretty cool. Do I feel like I needed another Starscream this soon? Um, not necessarily. Will I go after the other Seekers if they come out in this mold? Eh, I don't know. Maybe the Coneheads I'll probably go after. I don't know if I need more, uh, another complete series of Seekers in this mode. Um, but you never know. We'll see what happens along the, in the future, rather. Uh, but for now, yeah, I do like this Starscream. He's a pretty solid Voyager figure. He's a lot of fun to transform and to just swoosh around, around the house. So... <laughs> With that said, that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, that like button really helps me out. Of course, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.